Iliac pressed here, so if we bring it right the way into this 90 degrees on the side position here. Iliac pressed, I've dropped my thumb down here to um, around about L4-5. And then from here, I'm gonna find four, five, three, four, two, three, just so I can orientate to the anatomy. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have my index finger here on the inferior aspect of the ribs. I'm then just gonna oppose my thumbs to each other and then slide them over iliocostalis. I'm using a long border to pop out a long border. I'm actually leading with my fingers, trailing with my thumb, which is where I can drop into that space there. So now I know where the lateral border of iliocostalis is. I also know iliac press and the inferior aspects of the ribs. I'm then going to rotate my non-kneeling hand so my index finger replaces my thumbs. As it replaces my thumbs, it automatically touches the rib at the tip and the base of the finger is on the iliac crest. So now I know where the upper border of my needling can be, where the lower border is and where the posterior border is. I'm gonna create the anterior border by bringing this finger towards this one and only leaving myself enough space to put a needle in. I create this imaginary border that prevents me getting too much anterior translation on my needle. If my patient is exactly in side lying, I can head straight down towards the transverse process. If, however, they've rolled forward to offload the pressure in the hip, you'd have to needle. You needle perpendicular to the transverse process. So bring them back here. Also be 